Tonight, an Ogden man is lucky to be alive and unharmed. A large piece of metal flew into his windshield, narrowly missing his face. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher spoke to UHP about how this is part of a larger problem and has the warning from troopers tonight. Lauren is live near I-215 in Salt Lake City. Lauren, this is a scary situation. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, especially when you see the pictures, just how lucky Wyland Moon was when he was driving here in this section of 215 uh, near 700 North, driving home from work yesterday up to Ogden when that piece of metal came flying out of nowhere. Imagine just going along with the flow of traffic on the way home from work. All of a sudden, the car in front of me kind of swerved a little to the left. And bam, in a split second. And all of a sudden, it was in the windshield. And yeah, I was freaking out, that's for sure. I think any of us would freak out at this. A hunk of mysterious metal launched into Wyland Moon's windshield, stopping just short of actually hitting him. It was like a half inch piece of steel. I don't know what it came off of. And that's the problem, says UHP. Someone's carelessness almost killed Wyland. This kind of roadway debris is worse in the summer. We respond to debris calls every day. Uh, it's an average for the whole state of 76 debris calls. That's nearly 80 potential death traps a day if a car or motorcycle hits the debris the wrong way. Corporal Tara Wahlberg says take those extra few minutes to make sure you aren't responsible for something like this. It's important to cover your loads as well as um, secure them. You know, you never know what is potentially going to fly out. No matter how heavy you think it is, you know, something could get knocked loose. Corporal Wahlberg happened to come upon Wyland Wednesday right as he pulled over hazards on. She immediately checked on him. He was as cool as a cucumber. Just, he knew exactly what to do in that situation. Not sure cool as a cucumber is how Wyland remembers it. I had to take a couple deep breaths. Uh, I said a little thank you prayer. I was, I was lucky to be there. That's for sure. That was the first thing going through my head. That, that could have ended it right there. Now, uh, another driver on the road actually is the one that ran over it and like threw it up into the air into Wyland's windshield. So one other thing that UHP said is if you are out driving and you see something on the roadway, don't worry about calling the non-emergency dispatch or remembering that number. Just call 911 right away. She said that it is an emergency situation and UHP will come out as quickly as they can to clear that debris up. Live in Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.